Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install or make a PC from scratch. This is a high-end, high-performance gaming rig, so let's take a look at the different uh, equipment that came in and what you're going to need to make it, all right? Okay, so I did a little bit of the unboxing. I ordered everything off of Amazon. This is the um, Musitex uh, gaming PC case has tempered glass. Um, I open it here on one of the sides. You can kind of see on the top here, you have the, um, the power, the reset, USB, audio, stuff like that. Here's the wires. Um, this is the side of it that has a panel, which is over here. And I just took that off to take a look at this. Um, this stuff right here are the connectors for the RGP, um, red, green, blue um, lights and uh, the power uh, the power um, button that you're gonna connect to the motherboard. So I'm just getting familiar with myself uh, on that. Um, here's some instructions on how to do it. I recommend that if you're gonna do this for the first time, you see some videos from some different people, this video should help you. Um, but basically this is for somebody that's willing to just go in and figure things out, do some research on Google. This is what I did when I started building computers myself. Um, so here is the uh, power supply, uh, 80 plus gold, 850 watt, kind of a little bit overkill for this. Well, actually, no, this is a gaming, high-end gaming, so this is probably what you want to go with. You can call, probably go with something a little lower. Here's the beats, beats the beast itself, the GPU. Uh, this is a... 6900 XT um, AMD GPU. So this is uh, the heart of our system, so to speak. Um, I got a couple of um, SSD, uh, actually NVMe SSD solid state drives, one terabyte each. So plenty of space for all your gaming. Um, this is gonna be a, I have two of these. This is the RAM itself. It's gonna be a 32 gigabyte RAM system. So you can kind of get an idea. This I bought for mounting uh, this onto the keyboard. This is the hard drive or the solid state drive. So I'm gonna use these tools here, pretty cheap. I'll provide probably all the links in the video if you're interested. This is a thermal paste that I've heard that better to get your own thermal paste because of what they provide sometimes isn't all that good. This is the beast itself as well, the brains. Um, the CPU is a res, resin um, nine. Um, and then of course, here's the motherboard itself. This is a, a, a motherboard, a gaming specific motherboard. So we're gonna install that as well. So, so of course we have the case, the housing of where everything's gonna go. We have the power supply that's gonna power everything up. We have the GPU over here, hard drive to install our OS, our games, RAM uh, that we need, right, for the computer. Uh, this is the CPU, the computer itself, the motherboard where all this is gonna get connected. And um, this, this uh, CPU needs a liquid cooling system. It's recommended, you can get by without it, but um, um, it's highly recommended to go with a liquid cooling system and I'm still waiting for that part to arrive But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of this together and uh, kind of go from there guys um, Probably will have some questions. Let me know in the comments, but I'm excited about this I haven't built a computer in quite some time. So this is my first liquid cool system So as soon as that part comes in, I'll be able to stall it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do uh, most of this stuff anyway, so um, hopefully you find this useful Okay, guys, so first little hurdle in the way. Um, I was looking a little bit closer to the case here. Um, in my case, I have a 360mm uh, um, uh, liquid cooling fans. So if you look at the diagram, they give you radiator support, uh, top or rear. And uh, mine's 360mm. So the max that this case can actually handle is 240. Uh, sorry for it being a little blurry. So... I'm gonna to have to think outside the box a little bit. Um, so um, it's not gonna fit here at the top. So I have the case on its side down. Um, 
So I'm going to leave these fans here, but there are some fans over here and I think I have enough space down here to put the radiator, but there comes, this case comes with some pre-installed fans already. So I'm probably going to have to move this out of the way so I can give space to my radiator uh, for the system. So that's just one little update. So I'm going to start kind of working on that. All right, so this is pretty simple. Um, you just kind of take this and you just pull this case, uh, the front of this off, and then you have access to the fans here. So I'm gonna rearrange this, um, these fans to give space to my radiator, which um, our liquid cool radiator uh, that hasn't quite arrived yet, but this should be giving me enough space to put those fans that are gonna come in. And um, it's just a matter of uh, just uh, disconnecting these fans here. Uh, this is the control switch here, so you can see uh, where the fans are connected here. So I would just have to identify the uh, corresponding wire and just remove these so I can make space for my uh, radiator fan. And uh, we should be fine, guys. We should be fine. It'll be interesting. This is, the, again, first hurdle, and I think the first time I'm experience this so it shouldn't be too bad um, we just got to think outside the box do a little google research and we can figure this out fortunately i have some experience already on how to do these uh, builds so um but this is a new hurdle for me and I'm, i think i found a, a solution so i don't have to return everything i can keep the case and keep my liquid cooler but next time i'll make sure that um the case that i do have will have an uh, i guess the you know kind of the fittings for that uh, so again Take a look at your uh, manual for your case. Everybody's uh, uh, computer building uh, stuff will be a little bit different, but um, you can find always solutions, all right? Okay, guys, so I was rethinking some stuff. Um, before I decide I want to remove the fans at the front of this case, um, I need to first see my motherboard. Let's see what size it is. Um, I'll figure that out in a minute, but what I want to do is take first the motherboard and put it into the case to see how much space I'm going to have here. So the motherboard is going to go somewhere around here. And um, I'm thinking when my liquid cooler radiator um, CPU arrives, that um, if there's going to be enough space over here in this gap, I think there could be some space here where maybe I can leave the fans in the front and then put my radiator here. Again, I'm not sure how thick the radiator is. It's probably going to be pretty thick. So... It could be it could be pushing it so um, but at first I want to probably just put the motherboard in and then with that I can see how much space it is um, motherboards come in different form factors it can be a micro it can be a traditional ATX this one is a gaming so I'm thinking it's gonna probably be ATX but I'm gonna try to install that first before anything I already know that I'm not gonna be able to put the liquid cooler radiator up here uh, my best bet is to actually put it over here so again you get got to think about size and stuff like that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this and see uh, first comes the motherboard installation um, there's some brackets here and again the motherboard probably has instructions as well but since I'm familiar I know kind of what I need to do I may need to move this if it's an ATX big motherboard I may need to move this one to over here so um, again refer to your manuals if you have any questions again watch a lot of videos hopefully this one's going to be helpful to you as well all right so I took out the motherboard from the box uh, this is a big motherboard right it's the gaming's high performance computer here so it's going to take up all that space there um, little inconvenience this fan line is in the way so i'm going to have to adjust the strappings in the back and see if i can pull that away um, but i definitely want to keep that fan in the rear of the pc case so let me handle this next uh, hurdle as well all right guys so um so i'm going through the motherboard stuff here um there's some cables that eventually you're going to need uh, you're going to use this to connect the different components to your motherboard uh, this is what I was looking for, these little screws. The case comes with it. This one says black. Uh, this is where you're going to mount. But since this is a big, big, big motherboard, I'm going to have to place one over here. So this is going to be silver. You'll see it in the next clip here. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, placing the motherboard in its place. Okay, so another quick update. Again, this is the silver is what uh, came, sorry it's so blurry, um, is what came with the motherboard. Uh, these black screws, um, this came with the case. So the case itself had its own screws and stuff like that. So they made the assumption that you're going to install a micro ATX motherboard. That's why they only have this guy here, this guy here, 
this guy here, or I think it's an IATX, I think it's called. Micro is much smaller, I think it's just right around here only. So um, anyway, I found the screws for that and I'm using some pliers to firmly, firmly put it at the same level here. Again, I apologize, it's a little hard to see, but um, that's just what I'm using here. This one came pre-installed. This one you have to install by hand. And this is what I found, but um, it's, um, it's kind of hard to do it with your hands, so you have to use some pliers, so I'm using that. So yeah, you may need some pliers. I shouldn't, but um, um, anyway, this case is requiring me to do that in a screwdriver. And um, again, this is a, you may want to think about in getting a small um, uh, tool set of um, tools for your computer uh, electronics, stuff like that. The small ones, this is a very small one. So you can still go with your traditional um, screwdriver, star, and in some cases, there are some flat, but most of these computers have, use uh, star uh, screwdrivers, screws. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on getting the uh, motherboard in there. I, I did make this a little bit looser over here, so that's good. Shouldn't have any issues. So I got to do that over here, finish screwing that, screwing that. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one more, but I think we can get by with just uh, one, two, three... This one's going to be empty, even though I would like to put something here for support. But I think if we put one up here and one up here, we, the motherboard should be fine. And um, But yeah, yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, guys, quick update. I've decided uh, before I put the motherboard in, I'm actually going to install the CPU. So I'm going to teach you how to get the CPU in there. Um, kind of a little bit. Of, well, I've done it several times, but you're going to look for a little triangle. Triangle is a little hard. Well, you can you should be able to see it here. Let me see if I can focus the camera. It should be right over here. Yes, so uh, And again be very careful when you're dealing with electronics make sure you don't have any static electricity But um, it's a little hard to focus here, but basically it's right over here the um, Little triangle. I'm going to show you on the CPU, but basically you're going to line that up. There's a latch here so you have to open that latch and uh, let's get to it. I mean, might as well just do that if I can do it. So yeah, that's the lash I just showed you. Just lift that up. You're gonna have that up first and then you're going to plant your CPU and then you're gonna close it in tight and then that's pretty much it for installation. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I finished unboxing the CPU. There's the box over there. Here's the CPU itself. So I'm gonna take this out and we'll get to it. All right, so here's the CPU, the back, the underbelly of it. So you can see I was telling you about a triangle. It's up here in the upper right corner. So you're going to line up that triangle with the triangle that you see in the socket on the motherboard itself. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've already placed it. I'm going to show you again. Um, but basically, you, you line up that triangle right there that you see. Again, it's blurry upper right corner with what's over here on the motherboard, which is right there in the bottom right corner. I, if I <laughs> adjust everything right, but there's some holes here and it should just kind of fall in place. And that's it. So again, uh, doing this from my cell phone, but um, there is the triangle. And uh, now all we have to do is just close this slash and you'll see that it'll tighten up. Actually, you see, I just push it down a little bit. It's good, it's all good. So I just push it down and then you lash it over here at the end. And there you go. The CPU is officially installed. So that's one less thing we have to do. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the motherboard and I could actually go ahead and install the RAM. Let me go ahead and install the RAM too. Okay, just quick change of plans. Again, this is what you're going to notice. Sometimes you do things a little bit out of outer. There's no in particular order, but anyway, I removed this. There's another one of these. This is the um, M2, um, M.2. This is where the hard drive is going to go. So I'm going to install that first and, uh, and then I'll install the RAM. And so we'll have a hard drive, our RAM, our CPU, and we're getting closer, guys, to being able to actually put the motherboard inside the case itself. All right, so here is the um, NVMe. I love these names. Uh, SSD. This is the hard drive. I got two of them, so I'm going to install one of them over here. Uh, let me put my camera down so I can adjust this. But basically what you'll need to do, is, I think this only goes a certain way, but um, take note of this right over here with what's over there. So you need to insert this at an angle. Let me see if I can figure this out. There you go, it's at an angle. But basically, I'm trying to see, sorry. Oh, that's that's it. So it, this fits right here. You gotta find that little groove. You kind of insert it at an angle and then you'll place it down. 
and it's installed. It's pretty simple, actually. Should be installed. Let me try make sure it is. So just put it back in at an angle, like a 45, 35 angle, and you just place it. You'll know that it'll, it's in place because you'll you hear a clip. There's a spring here, so you can, there's a little bit of a spring here. Um, let me try that again. So again, you got to put this at an angle. There you go. I push it in a little bit deeper, and I'm getting that little spring effect here. So there we go. We've made connection there. It kind of dog goes up and down, but basically you're going to find a screw here, and you're going to tighten that there so it's secured. And you'll be doing the same thing on this side here as well. And then I'm going to cover it up with this again. So another thing, just really quick, if you notice, I was pushing this all down. It looks quite bent, so you actually have to place this stuff here, similar to what we did with the motherboard, and it should sit fine. Done, it should look like this, that little mount there. You just screw it in by hand, and then now I'm going to put the screw on here to secure this, and it's not so bent like it was before. I could have accidentally broken this, so you got to be careful. Make sure you use all the screws that are provided for the most right. part. That's done there. Looks way better than before. Um, but yeah, the when you buy the uh, these these uh, S the NVMe SSDs, they don't come with the screws, so that's why I had to buy a separate set. I learned that the hard way when I was upgrading another computer not too long ago. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here, but I'm gonna put this cover, put this cover back over here. And it's like a heat sink to give it some protection. So that's we'll go ahead and uh, once I'm done with this, I will install the ROM the RAM. Okay, guys, moving along, we're gonna do the RAM. So just a recap, we put the um, CPU in, we put the SSDs uh, behind their respective uh, heat sink, sinks, and then of course now we're going to do the uh, RAM. It's going to be a mad crazy rig, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so uh, this comes closed initially, so what you need to do is push down on this. You see how I opened that up here? So this is where we're going to just push down on this. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So do the same thing on the other side. Uh, let me put my phone down. Okay, again, uh, you're noticing something new here. You can't push down on these ones over here. These ones seem like they're fixed. These ones you can actually open up. So let's go ahead and install right. the RAM. There's the RAM, looks very fancy. So we're gonna push the first one in. Uh, recommendation, uh, when you buy the RAM, they all should be the same speed. If you do get different speeds, it's gonna go as fast as the lowest speed possible. So you're gonna push this in. And you kind of make note of the groove there. There's a groove right there. So this seems like the right place to put it. And it should just lock into place. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to do it with one hand while trying to film. It's a little hard. Um, let me figure this out once. All right, so I, I got it right, actually. This is a little tight fit. But you can see when you push it down, it locks in. Let me see if I can do the order one again. Uh, next time I'll have to set up something a little bit better. Um, but basically, I'm taking out the next RAM. I'm going to line it up just like I did just now. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to place it down into this next slot here. And then you see how it's it's in there, but it's not fully in there. You're just going to push down and look at clips uh, straight down. Uh, let me put it straight down. I use both fingers here. Uh, one second. I don't want to break this, right? This is very expensive. So, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I got it right. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it clipped into place. But basically, you line it up based on the groove there. And then you push it into place. And it's a little hard sometimes. You just may need to push down on it, directly down, and that's it. So I'm going to do the other two, and then we'll be done with the RAM. Pretty simple, actually. Okay guys, so we installed all the RAM successfully. Um, now we're gonna put the motherboard inside. Um, it just may be easier to do this outside of the case itself, the CPU installation, the RAM. Um, yeah, and then you can worry about putting this uh, into place, but I'm gonna use the screws over here that came with this to secure this into the, um, into the case. Let's see how that goes. Okay guys, so I got the case, in, I mean the motherboard in. Um, I was having a little issue. I thought the fan was in the way of this part of the motherboard, but um, turns out if you look over here, there's that annoying little wire from before, and that's what's not letting me go through. So I'm going to push that wire out of the way, and then I should be able to line up 
the motherboard holes with what we place at the back of the mother uh, of the case and then secure it so give me one second all right guys so finish installing this i get, had to get a little help um but you can do this by yourself um actually i could have done it by myself i had it just came i i ended up doing it by myself kind of um because when i got help um for some reason the cable was still in the way so i ended, ended up using a um this is too much info but uh one of these little straps uh ties zip straps and i got the cable out of the way secured tight and now that's what was preventing me but you can see you obviously want to install the motherboard so that the uh, these output uh, sources uh, are facing the back of the computer. There's only really one way you can actually put the put the uh, put put it in. Um, uh, one thing to note is um, uh, so you have to secure it with cables. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a, there's a screw there. So the stuff that we did initially at the beginning, you tight that up with the screw here and. Some of these screws came out a little loose and that's kind of the imperfections uh, sometimes when it comes to building, you know, um, ideally you want to have a screw securing the motherboard there. We have one over there, but it's kind of loose. Um, but this one here is secure on the upper right corner. This one here in the uh, lower right corner and this one here on the left. So, and um, one thing you can do is just kind of move, uh, pick up your, pick up your computer case and just see if your motherboard is going to fall off so right now i have it up in the air vertically not sure if you can notice that um, but i'm um, i'm just you know making sure that everything's secure there and um, i think it's good for right now um, everything's pretty much secured um, so the motherboard is in place uh, next thing we want to do is probably install the uh, psu uh, supply and start connecting the psu cables to the motherboard uh, you can obviously follow the instructions on how to do that. It explains, but it's probably easier to watch a video. I'm a visual learner. Hopefully this is useful to you. Um, let me see. Again, we're still waiting to... Um, we can't power anything up because the CPU gets very hot. So we need that liquid cooler uh, radiator, radiator. And I think I'm going to place it over here. But that still hasn't arrived from Amazon. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, it's taken about three days. The other stuff came very soon, like within two days. I'm Amazon Prime, so um, I, I'd expect. Anyway, not hating on Amazon. It is what it is, but um, this that's kind of holding me back. Let me see if we've got in everything. So the motherboard, the case, the PSU is coming up next. Oh, the GPU, obviously, that's going to be very important. So we're going to put the GPU there, and um, we'll have everything connected except for the... the uh, CPU, all right, so let's go ahead and get to it. PSU coming up. All right, guys, so I took out the PSU out of the box. Uh, it looks like this. Um, they separated the, the cords, the power cords from this. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in everything uh, accordingly. And then um, basically this is going to, let's see how this is gonna get mounted. But basically, um, yeah, I think you wanna mount it this way and yeah, the details of the PSU would be there. Or maybe it's this way. Anyway, we'll figure that out. And I'm going to place it in that compartment there. And um, yeah, and but these cords are going to get, uh, and the cords are again right over here. So a lot of stuff going on here, but we'll make it all work out. It's really messy, but it's going to be a good computer at the end of the day. Okay, guys, I did some research on PSU. Um, no, no, well, actually, uh, it was more of a matter, should I put the fan of this PSU up, so, up or down? Um, but fortunately, there is a vent on the bottom of this case as there is a ventation vents here at the top. So it doesn't make a difference. But I'm going to, since I'm going to plan on putting this computer on carpet, I think it's going to be better for the fan to be upward. So it's going to be installed like this, like so, if that makes sense. So it's going to be installed like this. Um, right now, I'm just getting the cables uh, for the, each of these different ones, and I'm just plugging in into the corresponding. Uh, you have PCI uh, power pins. You have uh, the 28 pin, which is for the entire motherboard. So pretty self-explanatory. Get these cables out and just connect them to the appropriate pl uh, places. They're all labeled anyway. And so uh, that's it. I'm going to work on that, and I'm going to install it into the case. Okay, so I'm about to install the PSU into the case. Uh, all these cables that come initially with the case, you're gonna wanna put it um, 
not for here because this is where the PSU is going to be. You're going to want to put it, let me just flip this around. And so inside the case, you'll want to drag all these cables upwards. You're going to do the same thing with all these cables coming from the PSU. You just want them to get through the space here. And um, yeah, or you have some holes out here as well. Um, uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference which way you want to bring them, but um, it's up to you. So I'm going to get to it. All right, so you can see that I've got the PSU installed down there. Uh, I thought I was going to have the fan up, but if you look closely over here, uh, this piece of metal over here, I think it's meant for older, the well, not older, it's kind of old, the old traditional hard drives or um, SATs. I'm not sure if I'm going to install more hard drives, so I left that there. I had to uh, uh, flip it over the other way because uh, this, this would have got in the way, and uh, I had to flip it over, so that's why I had the fan pointing down, which is not a big deal, actually. Um, preferably, it would be up, but it's okay. Um, I'm still going to put this computer on top of carpet. Um, I may put a piece of wood underneath or something to make it a little bit more secure or better airflow, but it's fine. Um, last but not least, uh, you see that I got all the cables uh, through the little hole there. So it's going to come here. Now we're going to start connecting things to the motherboard. Um, really quick, make sure you secure your PSU. It should come with some screws. Uh, there should be four, one, two, three, and four. And um, of course, it comes with the, the cord itself. Uh, but we can't power this yet until Amazon gets me the liquid cooler. But we're getting closer. Now we're going to do some fun part about putting stuff, uh, plugging in. It can be a little bit difficult, but um, it, we'll, we'll make it work out fine. It's getting these um, cables connected to the motherboard in the appropriate place. We'll install the um, GPU in a moment. And then, of course, uh, all the lights and flashes and stuff like that will be co go to the corresponding. And the motherboard tells you where everything needs to be plugged in if you need reference. But I'm, I'm going to try to do it based on memory. I will refer to the manual as well. Hopefully, you guys, you're enjoying this video so far. Okay, guys. So... Uh, just make sure you go for your appropriate motherboard manual as well as your mother uh, case manual uh, so the case comes with this lights um, for like the audio uh, set um, this is a uh, high definition audio so all of this stuff is going to be connected to the motherboard in the appropriate locations again every case is a little bit different but more or less they're all the same um, same idea you need for example these little guys here I'll, I'll sh uh, I'm gonna again you can look at the motherboard but this is a uh, switches that you're gonna use to turn on and off the computer the button at, at the outside of the case just needs to go into the motherboard and the appropriate locations could be down over here again it, it, every motherboard is a little different most of them are the same after you've done a number of this uh, it's it becomes easier but um these are kind of the connectors and places you'll do that. Again, your best bet is to look at the motherboard and then also see what I'm doing as well in this video. But again, these are going to be a big help right here. Follow that. I'm going to start plugging stuff in. I haven't installed the G GPU. I'll leave that for last. But um, for example, some of this is self-explanatory. See this one here? This is a, I believe it's called a 28 pin. You're going to put that into the motherboard right over there where it kind of, you know, it's kind of a puzzle sometimes. You just got to plug it in the right place. Um, but that's that's what I'm going to start doing, guys. Um, I should be done with this. And maybe this this could take a while, 15, 20 minutes if you get a little confused, especially reading through this stuff. It's not always self-explanatory. But again, watch other videos. Uh, there's probably better videos than myself that show you how to do the connection. I'm, I'm going to sit down and look at some videos, too, to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, but there are specific videos. This video that I'm doing is, of course, video for just every, in general, just a, a brief on how to put everything together. You're gonna maybe want to dig down and look at some other videos on YouTube, but this one should be a very good one. The overall, in general, again, following the manuals, doing what I've been showing you so far, you should be fine. Again, it's kind of like a puzzle, just connect these guys to the right place. I think this is a CPU uh, pin here, so you're gonna find that one, which is over here in this corner over here. So that's it's it's it is what it is, guys. So this, this is kind of a little frustrating part, but once you get this done with, you're getting closer to having fun on your new gaming rig or new computer that you're making. Okay, guys, thank you for following me along in this process. This is crazy. Just realize how huge this graphics card is. So the chassis that I ended up getting. One second. So the chassis that I ended up getting for this is way too small. So this is the size of this RX 
6900 XT. It's humongous. That does not fit inside here. Luckily for me, my old one of my older computers, this it will fit in this one. This one's wider. So I'm so I'm I'm gonna I've been doing a lot of these video um yes, I'm a little frustrated, but I was gonna show you every single step, but basically what I've been doing on this computer, I'm gonna move the parts from there over to this part of this body of this of this uh, PC case. Okay, I'm gonna do that and just squish out this computer and put it into that chassis. So basically I'm changing the bodies of the computer, uh, the, the PC case. So that way I don't have to return anything. I'm still waiting for Amazon to give me my liquid cooler, but I think I'm gonna be able to get the liquid cooler inside here. So I'm gonna start working using this one. So it, it, uh, long story short, this is gonna be a day long thing. Um, as I find across meaningful things that are new and that you should know. But anyway, I want to bring this to your attention completely transparent with you guys. But uh, interesting. Hopefully, hopefully within the next couple hours, I'll have something up and running. Okay, thanks so much, guys. Okay, so quick update. I took out the motherboard of the new massive high rig performance. It gave me some trouble because these little things over here, sometimes, uh, I guess, bad quality. Um, you know, I'm not going to mention any part of the world, you know, this is coming from, but um, it just, it was a really hassle. I thought I may, may have almost broken the um, the good motherboard, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe I did, but anyway, I'm having the same issue on this older, the other computer that I had that I'm changing bodies with. It's this right here. This thing seems to get stuck and then the screw there. So what I have to use is use a pliers on this side up here and use a screwdriver to take it out. But this, if I try to do the screwdriver here, this is it's not going anywhere. So just a quick update, um, getting closer to squishing the bodies of the computers and uh, proceeding. But um, but yeah, it's, 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 been a, it's been something quite something else. And hopefully you guys are getting appreciation of all the hassles and hurdles we're go I'm going through and uh, you guys are learning, right? This is the only way to learn. Again, I haven't made a computer like in, whew, like maybe 10 years, so it helps to try to do them sporadically, and I'm learning some stuff. So anyway, that's what we're at right now. Um, let me know if you have any questions and comments. The video will continue by parts as we progress to the towards the end. Okay, guys, so finally got the new rig into the old PC chassis or old PC case that actually can handle it. Look how big it is. It goes to the very limit here. Um, I'm already thinking I'm going to may have issues with the liquid cooler radiator air um, liquid CPU, but I'm um, planning on putting it here. It's not gonna fit in this space, so I may have to put it on the outside. Um, again, I'm pr improvising, let's see how that goes. Uh, let's see, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, the, com the computer may not have a cover in the front, potentially. Um, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, the, the liquid cooler CPU is very big, so I'm interested as soon as it arrives to see what we can be done. Uh, again, the motherboard is installed there. The only thing I really did is I reconnected everything. You can see the HD audio is right over here. Uh, this case has a different uh, wires than the other case, so I only could connect whatever I could connect, like the power switch. A hard drive uh, LED power LED stuff like there. It's hard to see, but you can see it there down there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, so yeah, that's the massive. If <laughs> it, it, this could play any game right now, this is year 2022, so a really expensive, almost two thousand uh, dollar. Normally, a system like this, they'll sell it for you like four thousand, five thousand. But um, if you put the effort, you can actually, you know, build it yourself for half the price. Um, so this one doesn't have as many fans as the other one, but that's okay. Um, I'm really interested about the liquid cooler, which should be arriving here any moment now, based on the Amazon delivery update. Um, so I'll be able to find out if I have more hurdles. Uh, the RAM is still there. Um, everything's intact. It just everything is now on a new computer, a new. Uh, well, actually, an old PC uh, case. Um, I'll let you guys know on the next update to see um, when the liquid cooler gets in, and I can start installing that. Um, this uh, the, I'm using the same PSU that I had in the other chassis. I moved it over here, and now what I'm going to work on is get the old computer back into this new PC case and uh, boot it up and make sure everything still works. But um, 
Right now we're very close to finishing this. Uh, we have the motherboard, the CPU is already installed. We're waiting on the CPU liquid cooler uh, radiator. Um, we have the RAM installed, we have the hard drives installed. Um, yeah, you can't really see them, they're behind that heat sink. There's two of them, one terabyte each. The GPU itself, uh, the power supply is there and the, we use the old case that I had over here and now um, waiting for the uh yeah liquid cpu cooler which is holding me up in the meantime it gives me time to work on uh this uh, old computer that used to be living in this white uh pc chassis and now i'm gonna put in a new pc sh uh, chassis and see how that goes i'll give you an update once i'm done all right guys so the body's changing of the computers were a success the old computer that was in the white uh chassis pc case is now in this black one um, and yeah, that's where I am right now. I'm still waiting for Amazon to bring. I booted up this computer. It's perfectly fine. So that's a good thing. Um, uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah. So just this new rig here, which I've already decided. And I said it earlier that you're going to have to put the, uh, the, uh, airflow radiator, water, liquid CPU cooler on the outside of this case. Got to be very careful. Um, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a custom enclosure, but anyway, um, this is just this is ready to go. Everything's connected. Um, this PSU power cords went into the uh, motherboard in the appropriate location. Again, recommend that you just look at several videos. And the more you do this, the more it is. This is kind of a kind of a risky because this is a lot of hardware that was very expensive. So, um, you know, I haven't done this in years, but I'm I'm becoming acquainted with it. I've been into it for about a couple hours because, it's, you know, it's been a minute. I'm refreshing my memory, but um, just waiting for that CPU cooler to get here so that I can uh, boot this guy up. And hopefully all the connections worked. Um, I connected everything fine in the other uh, computer. So I um, think we'll be good to go, guys. Um, but yeah, I was very uh, taken by this uh, radar rx 9900 xt right let me make sure that's what it is yeah of course and um by the manufacturer xfx pretty big one popular one that makes this ones um, from amd and um yeah there's my cpu uh, ready to boot up we're just um waiting to get the liquid cpu cooler and um as soon as i get that i'll provide another update all right, guys, so finally she's all done. She's up and running. Um, had some issues with the lighting. Again, uh, lighting is eye candy, but uh, it looks like it's working great. We got the 6900 XT AMD. Um, as you can see, I had to put the radiator uh, CPU liquid cooler on the outside with the fans. So you got, we got, I gotta be careful with it. Um, you know, I don't want to get those components wet. I need, I'm thinking of a, maybe a better way of storing this PC. Right now it's on the ground, uh, but got Windows installed. Um, I'll link some video uh, links on how you can get Windows for free and where to get uh, licensing uh, for free, or, or I mean, uh, for cheaply, legally, of course. And uh, yeah, it, it was a long day. Uh, finally got both computers up and running. Um, I'm in the process of installing AMD drivers there. I'm going to test it out with some uh, gaming, and it's going to be great, guys. So thanks for following along. If you have any questions, uh, improvements on what I can do on these videos, please let me know. But uh, she's all said and done, so very happy. It was a long effort, but it was well worth it. Um, it's one of these things that you got to learn and just you know plug in things in different places where you think it goes, read the instructions, and hope for the best, and troubleshoot, and go on Google. So... It's all said and done, guy, guys, but um, Monster Beast here, really look forward to getting some uh, high frames per second. We'll see how it goes on playing on these high demanding games. That's it for this, guys. Thanks for following along, and um, I'll keep you guys updated and posted on this if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching.